<laughs> we rejoin the four of you in the depths of Riddler's base, the heart of Riddler's base. That's a better organ, right? We like that better? Sure. We rejoin the four of you in the heart the of aorta. Riddler's base. Yeah. And Chris. The liver. What are we doing in our body what? of a building? That's a great question, Andre. Thank you for asking. So <laughs> you have just let one J.J. Jorts, uh, a, an apparent hostage of the Riddlers, go uh, on her merry way through the base, hopefully to safety and freedom after releasing her from um, a miscellaneous broom closet. Uh, and a very fun puzzle. As you are, as you are, as you watch her leave and you turn back to head the other way, deeper into the base, um, dot, 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 you briefly think back. Uh, I believe there was, I believe you actually had some proper discussion about, do you have the code? Dot, dot, dot. Yep, you sure do, because you got it from Carrot, Riddler's head of security, just the other day in preparation. So you know what the answer to the door puzzle for today is going to be. Because you managed to persuade Carrot to uh, just, just slip that little bit of information to you. However, you made a devil's bargain. And what that means is as the four of you turn back to the corridor, rounding the corner at the other end is a gentleman in green streetwear, bedazzled brass knuckles, and sunglasses, who, of course, dot, 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 you immediately recognize as Carrot. And he is within distance to clock you uh so in the split second as he turns the corner is there anything you want to do uh i want to go like as he's like going to swing i'm gonna like Put up my hands and like kind of like try and block his vision a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Be okay, like, whoa, great. hey, it's just me. And then hopefully that will give them enough time to fucking skedaddle. Absolutely fuck wild. A, a, a wild gambit. What the hell is this? Okay. What the hell is this roll? <laughs> I we need a roll. We obviously, obviously need a roll. Uh, can I? Is this a roll to see if we pick up that you want us to hide, or if you actually successfully block the vision? This is going to be a, a full success. A, a full, a full. We're doing the whole thing. We're not going to split this into a bunch of rolls. Okay. I think the best way to do this is. Jackie, Ollie, Ed, in this split second, how do you react to what dot 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 Good does? Good question. Because I wouldn't be aware there was... I'm going to say high or low. Oh, I hate Hi. this game. My DM plays this with me all the time. Oh, no. Hi. Oh. Hi. 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 Okay. Um, I Jackie immediately picks up what you're putting down. Okay. Uh, it was a six. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I am going to put hands both on Ollie and Ed, and like, like a like a mama cat with the <laughs> scrub for the kittens and yoink us around the corner. Yeah. Uh, I like like, like the that's enough I... internet for today, cat. Yep. I immediately go limp. Not limp, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ragdoll. I submit. <laughs> I submit. It's, in, it's in Ed's deepest DNA. <laughs> and uh, and Jackie's just gonna like, life. like put a put a hand to her mouth and like turn to face both of you and like is pointing, gesturing at uh, 
dot 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 just okay. listen cool so i think I... and then and then the three of you are going to try to book it from behind dot 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 as he does a, a flash and dazzle distraction here in the hallway so I think the best way to resolve this is we are looking at a teamwork maneuver. So what I'm going to say is Ollie, Ed, Jackie, you're trying to skulk away, right? So you are each going to roll with your skulk ratings. Adam, you are trying to, I think probably sway carrot into uh into accepting this distraction uh so you are going to roll the teamwork action with your sway rating so everybody is down one because carrot has a level on you this is 100 percent a desperate situation which is going to take you any lower than that (laughs) okay so i have zero dice (laughs) yeah so you're you're starting at disadvantage. Perfect. Roll two, take the lower, and then um, anybody can choose to push themselves. Yeah, I'm pushing myself. I'm gonna push myself. Okay, right. So I, take two the stress, I, you can get one die back. Okay. Nice for me. I, yeah. I think I'm so far in disadvantage. Just- there's no way I can get. It doesn't stack, I believe. It doesn't Does stack. It? So once you get down to disadvantage, anything that you add adds back from zero. So you can oh, only right. go to zero. Then you can't get I into will negatives. <laughs> definitely be pushing myself. Okay, great. So everybody who pushes themselves. <laughs> that makes sense. One. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Six. Pushing is two stress, correct? Okay, cool. Cool. So yeah, pushing is four. two stress. I got a four. And then everybody is going to have to take one additional stress to make uh, either uh, dot 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 or Ollie's six count for the group. I'll, I'll but every, everybody has to everybody oh, has oh, to take God. the stress. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, yeah. I, yeah. we can yeah. do yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, but that does that does work out to a six for everyone. So describe this Scooby Doo ass nonsense <laughs> to me, y'all. Okay. Dot dot dot. Describe what you do, and then Jackie, Ollie, Ed, tell me what you do. Keeping in mind okay. that with the six, you're you're pulling this off. You are just by the skin of your teeth managing to pull this off. I'm gonna say just before they turn the corner. Yep. What dot 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 hears is the squeak of his, his of his fly ass shoes. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's got and some he's like just just immaculate white kicks. Yes. And so, and I was like, oh, fuck, that's Carrot. And he, like, kind of, like, rushes ahead a little bit. And knowing that Carrot is quick to to, to swing in that situation, he's going to throw up his hands. Like, he's kind of actively in his, in his face a little bit. Yeah, for sure, um, for sure. And he's like, whoa, whoa, hey, 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 whoa, Carrot, what the, oh, uh, uh, Jesus, you going to swing on me? Oh my god, I thought I thought we were friends. Oh god. Um uh and I think Whoa, hey man, dot dot dot. Yeah, I almost socked you one. Oh my god. You gotta be more careful when you're coming around a corner like that, man. I know, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm so I'm just kinda today's not going uh, well. You you move quick. You you, you always got a, this vibe like you're a little jumpy. And when you're jumpy, that makes everyone around you jumpy. You know what I'm saying, man? I know what you're saying. Uh, okay. Look, Meanwhile, look. Uh, Ed, Jackie, Ollie, what do we what do we see you so doing? So are we? In that are we? Split second. We're around the corner, and the goal is to try to get up behind Carrot. That's up to you. Is that how the hallway is structured? You are in. You are in the center of a hallway. So this this utility closet where you found JJ is in the center of a hallway. At either end the hallway turns. So behind you is the way that you came from the cafeteria. Ahead of you is the way closer to the vault. Um, And there's a a, a corner or a 
Yeah, you could do that. That Bats. makes the most sense, yeah. It's it's Batman. I mean, yeah. I pulled you away, so we can say I pulled you back into a vent. Like, Maybe and, I kicked and, it and in. And there's like a, the, yeah, there's like a vent open and then like, um... I think uh, you would have to access the them screwdriver from the that utility you confiscated closet. from Andre. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There's not like yeah. hall vents? Do they? I feel like are they'd these... be small. But not I don't know. yet. Uh, I'm gonna say there's nothing in the halls that's large enough for you to to get in that you can really like readily see. Again, these are like these you can go back very into the utility closet. That's the that's the midway halls. point. I will yeah. not go back into the closet. I mean, you're standing. You're standing right. I mean, and God bless you for it. You like fuck the man. Am I right? Um, yes. That's fuck the point. fuck whoever you want. Am I right? So <laughs> you're standing in front of the utility closet as this is happening like you're right there so you can very easily the three of you can just sort of tumble back in there and then yeah, i'm gonna pull us back in there and kick the door shut great great okay and then well like i'm uh, gonna leave it open a crack because i want to be able to hear what's happening out there okay are you gonna stick around in there for a second or are you gonna try well, to... i i want to find a way out but i also don't want to lose sight of dot 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 okay cool so yeah, you you pull back in there. Um, again, there's this one bulb in the center. The chair is still is still there, and you can see uh, above and behind that that bulb there is a grating uh, in the ceiling. Awesome. And this is uh, a pretty I'm this gonna... is a pretty low ceiling. If you got up on that chair, yeah, you could to do that get sure. to that vent for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna get up on the chair and get the vent off. Okay, cool. So uh, again, the yeah. Okay. So we'll say, uh, Jackie, you know, you pop back in, you uh, you see the vent, you get up on the chair, and you're going to begin uh, maneuvering it off, uh, maneuvering the cover off. Um, Ed, you, you know, you, you close the door. Are you closing it entirely, or are you going to crack it so you can hear what's going on? Uh, I'll definitely oh, leave. Leave it crack. Don't shut it all the way. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And then Ollie, what what are you doing in here? I think Ollie's just got picked up something from the utility closet and is just getting ready. Like if he, if uh, he, he uh, parrot thing um, comes in, then um, Ollie's just gonna fucking I don't know like jam him in the eye with a broom handle or some shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean there uh, there's a broom in the corner, so you you grab that and you're standing at the ready on the other side of the door from Ed. So, uh, yeah, Jackie, as you as you begin to work the work the grating, uh, you can hear the the you heard the the previous bit of conversation, and you hear the continuing conversation between dot 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 and carrot, um, uh, and uh, carrot is like, um, I mean, he he's probably gonna gonna pick back up with your with your last conversation. Uh, no, I'm so jumpy. He's like. Yeah, bro, you just gotta like, just take it down, like a notch or like five notches, like ten, maybe. You know? Did you get that thing in the thing? What? The thing that you were talking to me about yesterday? Did you get? Oh, it? the basilisk. I have it. It it's with me. I need to scan it and then turn it into. Bro, a... bro, you better get that thing in the secure storage. No, okay? I'm doing that now. If I'm doing that now. If the boss finds you walking around out here with that. I fucking no. I'm, I know. He's gonna I'm be trying. pissed. He's I'm gonna so be fucking hard. pissed, man. I, I'm trying so hard, Carrot. I am, a, I am a dropout college student trying his damnedest, please. We've established that Carrot is a guy in his 40s or 50s with a dad bod. So I, I think... He maybe has a touch of fatherly affection for you. Dot dot Aww. dot. Uh, and he he kind of like he kind of like puts a puts an arm around you, uh, you know, in, in just sort of like a friendly friendly casual way. Uh, and he's like, hey hey, <laughs> dude, it ain't no thing. All right, Ugh. you'll get it done. It's okay. I'm not trying to get on your case. 
All right, you get it done. You'll get it done. I mean, it is a thing. It's just. Uh, All right, here, you come you on. know you know. Yeah yeah yeah. All right, come on. We'll go over there. We'll go into the thing. I'll, uh, you know, I'll turn off all the stuff in between so we don't have to walk through all that crap. We'll go in, we'll drop it off, and then uh, and then you're good. I got a couple of minutes. It's fine. Cool? Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Uh, and with his, with his arm around you, he kind of... Uh, he, he kind of starts walking you further in the direction that you were going to go anyway. Um, more down towards the uh, uh, towards the secure storage. What are the other three doing? So you're you're in the utility closet. Jackie, I think you have managed to, over the course of that bit of conversation, get the the cover off the vent. Um, and Ed, listening at the door, you can hear the uh, you can hear dot 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 and Carrot's footsteps moving away from you. So, what do the three of you do? All right, we want to follow via the vents. Yeah, that. Uh, can I have also been downloading? See if I could get like schematics to help us navigate through the vents. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely. You can definitely try. I that. also have a thing in mind because Adam does also regularly use the vents. That is that you is have given previously this to us established. Already? We yeah. blah, 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 back flashback. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. I'm. I'm gonna say. Uh. I don't think there's a role for this because this is information that Adam would have that you can just give to the group. Um, let's get a quick flashback to Gothbucks, where you tell the group about this bit of information. And this is going to cost you one stress. Okay. If if things were to go awry, which they won't, they won't. um, sure. Uh, there there is a, a a fail safe that I use. I don't know if you guys will be able to use it. But you, you all look pretty fit. Um, uh, okay. Ed, you're so hard on yourself, bud. You're so hard on yourself. You're, hey, you're fine. You know, it's facts of facts. You would be so surprised what the human body can do. Um, uh, anyway, uh, I use this, the vents like all the time. Um, I will use it from place to place if I'm trying to be a little bit more discreet about stuff. If I'm not trying to like run into people in the hallway and have a little friendly coworker, healthy work environment chit chat. Um, I adore the idea that dot 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 has mapped the vent system of uh, at least one floor of his workplace solely so he can crawl through the vents to avoid <laughs> mediocre chit chat, mundane chit chat with coworkers in the hallway. That is chef's they kiss. Could. Sometimes you're just not up for it. Um, but it goes up, it goes down, it goes all around. Um, you can. There's a few that you can access through like utility closets if you want. Um, but a lot of them are just like side of the wall, just right there hanging out. I think there's also a few in the cafeteria. Uh, here's the schematics anyway. You can figure it out from there. Yeah, so I think what you hand, what you slide across the table, or maybe as you are, maybe as you're saying this, dot, 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 you are actually actively drawing out the schematic on a, on a piece of paper. Um, and you you slide it across the table, and this is the portion of the vent system that you know. This is what you are aware exists. So um, it's basically all of the vents that go between the like office areas on the main 
floor where of, of the main floor of the base um there's other areas of the base and you are as yet not aware of vent connections to them um you know the they might be served by a different vent si ventilation system those particular parts might not be connected there might be like a drop that you can't like get that you can't get through right to get to the other part um so you have um uh both comprehensive and limited access uh with the vent system you can kind of get to any anything that you could get to via the sort of regular office corridors of riddler's base you can get to via the vents anything outside of that like for example the secure storage room you can't get to that via the vents via the ventilation system that darn it uh, yeah but it but we'll be able to follow uh Dot, dot, you dot, should, down the hallway you should be able you should yeah. be able to do that and ed you uh in the flashback take a snap with your phone and then we pull back out on that snap to see you holding the phone in the present moment in the uh i think as you climb up into the ventilation duct all right uh this thing ain't exactly Google Maps, so <laughs> let's see how this goes. All right. So, dot, dot, dot. You're walking with Carrot um, further into the base. Uh, you, again, you're, you're sort of twisting around these kind of nondescript corridors. You know, you make a left, you make a right. Uh, there's a couple of doors. There's uh, Not a... this time. Yeah, yeah. Very, very bland, sterile office is the vibe here. Meanwhile, the three of you, Ed, Jackie, Ollie, are <laughs> crawling on your hands and knees uh, across this hard metal surface, which is, uh, of course, periodically bolted together, right? Uh, and so there, there's bolts sticking up into the into the ducts. You're trying to be as quiet as possible. These things rattle like the Dickens, and they it is it is very difficult to be stealthy as you as you sort of clank your way through these air ducts. But you are trying your absolute damnedest. I. Th I think we need another role to resolve Everyone this. Everyone crawl without rhythm. Make it sound like it's just old pipes, baby. Yes. Crawl yes. Without crawl rhythm. without rhythm. <laughs> I hate this. Um, I think we're looking at another teamwork action, and I think it's a skulk. Okay. Does that sound cool to everybody? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um... You are, this is against Carrot, who's level two, so you're down one from your initial skulk. You can, of course, push yourself uh, or take a devil's bargain. Let me hear a devil's bargain. can figure bargain. out what that is. Goddamn. Uh, all right, devil's bargain. Gotta know. I think... An interesting devil's bargain could be um, I'm going to say you get separated in the vents. <laughs> it feels bad. It Does feels anyone want to take that? No. But it could lead to so many cool things. The RP. The lure of RP, Hopper. <laughs> Look, live Moss, baby. It's it's your choice, but no, everybody no, has no. to has to agree. We have to agree on it. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's a group Fuck action. It. Let's do it. Let's do it. Like I said, live <laughs> Moss. Uh are you on board as well, Maddie? Okay. Uh yeah. Whoever gets the 
whoever gets the lowest result is going to be separated from the group. Oh man. Ooh. Is this a desperate, difficult level? Uh, you're down one for the level disparity. This is not desperate, though. I'm going to push myself. Okay. Oh, you can't push yourself because you took the devil's bargain. The devil's bargain. Oh, right. God damn it. Yeah. So you get you do That's get the die you do, you do get the d6 for the devil's bargain. That's a three for me, dog. Mm. <laughs> it's also a three. Mm. This feels fitting because I did take the devil's bargain. Oh, oh shit! Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> wow, we fucked this up, huh? All oh, right. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. So. Uh, Dot dot dot. You you and Carrot are uh, are walking down the down the corridor, and you hear like from the the ceiling from the sort of corner of the hallway like so a very prominent like clank clank clunk, uh, and Carrot like puts a, a you know puts a hand on your shoulder. Dude, what the fuck was that? Aren't you security? I don't know. All right, we gotta check this out. Uh, I, I and is it okay if I just go ahead? I don't want to. I just gotta get this done. Man, you gotta come check this out with me. You're the only guy here. I gotta have backup. But with my scrawny ass? <laughs> yeah, with your scrawny ass is gonna back me up. Okay. Okay. And, uh, I mean, it was, it was, yeah, it was a full failure. Um, yeah, we beefed it. Carrot is going to draw a gun from, uh, from the back of his waistband. Uh, he draws a, a pistol and he is going to fire, uh, up into the corner of the hallway where he heard the noise. Um, what were your results again? Who? Two. Two? Okay. Uh, Ed and Ollie, uh, you are trapped in a in a little metal box, and all of a sudden, uh, there is just this absolute cacophony as bits of metal go flying everywhere um each of you is going to take one moderate harm uh as you are grazed by uh as you are grazed by shrapnel jackie ah shit meanwhile you hear this uh up ahead because uh you have actually you did you go in first who what was the order uh, Ed went in first. Ed went in first? Like, with the, because you had the Because Ed, is na Ed was never yeah, the... Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, Jackie, uh, you know, with your ribs, you were not crawling as fast as Ed and Ollie. And you reached a, uh, you, you fell behind a bit. They went around a, a bend, right? A T-bend, T-intersection. And you could have sworn they went you could have sworn they went to the right. Well, they actually went to the left. And you are all the way over in a completely different direction. You think trying to catch up with them when you hear a rattle, uh, this this cacophony from behind you. I mean, what do you do? Uh, I'm immediately gonna turn around uh, but more than that, I'm gonna start making a shit ton of noise. I I think Jackie would know what a gunshot sounds like, even oh, yeah. in a vent space. Yeah. And what I want to do is draw that away. Okay. Whoever, well, I mean, I can take a guess at who's firing, but I want them to come. If if I'm I'm separated. Like yeah. I'm I'm gonna start like purposefully like banging. But as far as you uh, know. Ed and Ollie are ahead of you. So the gunfire is coming from behind you. Just to clarify. Okay. 
But I, I want to turn to like. Yeah. I'm trying to. Vi I personally, Marcy, am a terrible uh, at spatial awareness. So trying to visualize a whole yeah. vent map is. Fun. Yeah. All, all you need. All you need to know is that Jackie thinks that she has been following. Ed and Ollie. I, they're actually. Um, and and as far as as far as you know, you are still behind them, but the gunshots are coming from behind you. That's okay. what you know. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, okay. Yeah. Same thing. Cool. Just let me reorient towards the gunshots. Okay. Great. So you start banging on the on the vent to try to attract, uh, try to attract the attention. Yeah. More of than that, shooting. I also want to deliberately bang down because I want to potentially drop down. Oh, you want to like drop through oh. the fucking ceiling? Yeah, so Great. I'm trying to, Badass. I want to get Carrot away towards me and then okay. death from above. Uh, all right, cool. So uh, dot, 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 uh, Carrot is, is shouting up. All right, I don't know who the fuck is in there, but I'm going to light you up again if you don't get out right now. Uh, it's duct maintenance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> hold your fire. Hold your fire. Okay, oh my it's God. Duct maintenance is a duct maintenance. Um, can I also say? Okay. I didn't hear shit about any duct maintenance. Dot, dot, dot. We're going to the nearest access point. And he starts running. He grabs you and starts running down the hallway with you. Jackie. Give me a roll. Uh, you are trying to attract attention here. Yep. So I think... Hmm. I think you are arguably commanding... Yeah, uh, sure. The, whoever is shooting to come to you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, totally. cool. So you're rolling with your command rating. Carrot has a level on you, so you're down one. This is absolutely myself. a desperate situation. You're down two. Oh. Push yourself, take two stress. You are back up one. All right, I'll take it. I say that uh, when Carrot drew his gun, dot, 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 drew his spray can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? So, yeah, so... Carrot is running down the hallway with his his gun. You know he he's he's very like I think good with firearm discipline. Um, so you know he's he's running down, both hands on the gun, pointed pointed down and and to the side, right. And meanwhile, uh, we have dot 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 coming up coming up on the side with the spray can, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't fuck with me. That's a six. Oh hell yeah. Okay, cool. Fuck yeah. Uh, all right, so up for my um, early <laughs> you have, I think, uh, I, I think you you've then successfully attracted Carrot's attention. So you are in a complete so dot 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 as Carrot is running down towards one access, one ventilation access point. Uh, the two of you hear banging, like heavy, heavy banging from uh, behind you down a side hall. Um, and uh yeah and, and carrot is like that ah, fucking shit man all right they're over on the other side we got to go to the other access point come on grabs you and then you're you're running off you turn the corner and you're now running down the hallway jackie with a six um you are able to successfully get the jump on uh nice. i mean I was gonna say yeah. dot 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 and carrot. Hopefully, just carrot. But Hopefully you know, carrot. no, no, no. Dot we'll dot see. dot and carrot would be very funny. <laughs> it would um, be funny. Oh, good. Yeah. So you are uh, able to the get the goal... jump on them. Yeah. As as they are running down the hall in your direction. Meanwhile, okay. Ed, Ollie, what are you doing? Um, we're trapped. Correct. <laughs> yeah. We're... I mean, you are. You're in the vents, and uh, they have just been shot up, and you have just been injured. Um, um, are you trapped? God. I thought... Yeah, okay, so... Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we're actively, like, bleeding. Ed's probably, like, 
fucking cursing. Fuck shit. Fuck shit. Okay. Um. Uh, like I don't know. Do we keep going? We can't. We can't keep going. We gotta. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll drop down out of the vent. You okay? So in that sense, you are trapped. In okay. that, if you wanted to drop out of the vent, you would have to do what Jackie is about to do, which is physically smash through the bottom of it and the ceiling. Uh, otherwise, you have to get to another point where the vent lets out. Um, so those those great. are your options in getting out of the vent right now. Yeah. I will say what will help you here is the vent got shot up. That definitely makes the metal less structurally sound. Yes. Um... All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not too excited. We're doing we're we're doing this. Um, I guess I'm just gonna try to use my uh, dad bod to my advantage <laughs> and kind of like, 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 just jump on the the damaged part of the vent. Cool. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> okay. So you're you're just trying to smat to just Hulk smash through the vent where you are. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. I think. Uh, I mean, this is just like a like a feat of raw strength. I think you're attacking the damaged vent. Wow. Ed. Um, I think you're attacking the vent. Yes, I'm very bad at that. So I would like okay. to push myself. Yeah, because you are. This is this is desperate. So oh, you're boy. down one to start. You push yourself, yeah. you're, you're back up one. Okay, so two stress, Great. push yourself, you're back up one. Right. Oh, fuck me. Okay, that's a five. Five, okay, mixed success. Um, the way that I am going to resolve this, because I just threw some damage at you, um, is... We're just gonna tick up the clock for when you are detected by Riddler's organization and base at large. So, you know, you're making a big ruckus here. Uh, it has become increasingly likely that you will attract attention. Um, but Ed, you are able to, like like the, the bride in Kill Bill smashing out of her coffin, just, you know, bang, bang, bang onto the damaged vent uh, and then it suddenly gives way and you are tumbling through the ceiling. Cut to yeah. dot, dot, dot. You are with Carrot. You are approaching rapidly, running down the hallway, the source of this other banging. What are you doing? Oh? Fucking <laughs> crying? <laughs> okay, that's a valid answer. That's I'm not going to make you roll for that. Great. So it's a free dot, action dot, to cry? Yeah, crying is a free action, always. Uh, <laughs> in fact, it, there are certain situations in this game where crying will give you XP. So Yeah! Yeah, we'll wow, resolve that's, that that's at the uh, end. And I know somebody it. Somebody should clip that. <laughs> Please. Clip it. Okay, so you approach this banging in the other part of the hallway uh and and carrot is is uh has his his firearm up pointed at the ceiling and then there are these sort of um there are these like plastic diffuse light panels it's sort of a grid of of panels uh and there's just this like diffuse light behind them and that's the entire ceiling and one of those plastic panels and the the sort of grid that's holding it in place just smashes through as a figure uh, just drops out of the ceiling. Jackie, describe your landing. Uh, we're using the 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 six that I rolled for this. We're using the six. Full success. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, yeah, perfect. Three point landing. Uh, I guess I'm gonna land. My goal was to hopefully drop on top of Carrot. With a six, you can do this. 
um, smashing down, just straight, straight down using great. both my momentum and this wonderful grating from the vents and the ceiling uh, to hopefully pack a quite a punch. All right, so we are going to give Carrot a six clock. Um, with a with your six, I'm going to say we'll fill two segments of that as you slam down out of the ceiling uh, and and on just directly on top of him. He curses, uh, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. You, this, this happens inches from your nose. Yeah, Jackie, right? Jackie looks up, gives you a little wink, and uh, I'm going to get ready to fight. Yeah. Uh, okay, so how what oh what's boy. your what's your method of attack, Jackie? What, what fast, are you going for? Uh, fast, brutal. I need to put this guy down. Uh, I I'm going. I guess I'm gonna like see what I've got. Uh, it's not much. I'm gonna have to utilize myself again, which is great. I'm good at using my own body as a weapon. Uh, yeah, and uh, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try for a, a windpipe punch though i'm i'm uh, like i've got him down uh is he like flat on his back or is he staring up at me um i think you actually caught him in well again the six you can tell me uh i think like physics wise it's probably flat on his back like i'm on his back okay. at this moment uh, yeah in which so, case, so he's, I'm going he's to... face down and you come yeah. down on his back yeah, yeah, I'm great. going to I'm going to drop my elbow like onto the back of his neck. Great. Okay. Give me a roll to attack. You are uh you're starting with your attack rating. Uh he has a level on you so you're down 1. This is somewhat desperate cuz yeah, you're is. you're you're trying to get the upper hand here okay. still. So still you're down 2 dice. to start. Great. You can push yourself. We can talk okay. about devil's bargains. Keep pushing myself here. I'm not going to have okay. much later. Too stress. What's Devil's Bargain? Uh, Devil's Bargain. Um, I mean, the, the Devil's Bargain has to be that he is going to be able to call for some sort of assistance. Don't like that. Don't like that. Here, let me see what I've got here because I'm burning through my stress. That's a bad idea. I shouldn't blow all of them because if I do that, I will have nothing, less for, nothing left for later. Yep. So one it is. All right, roll it up. That's another six. Shit. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I'm good, I good at one thing. Fuck yeah. That's good as hell. That'll get you two punch. more. Yeah, that'll get you two more segments on the clock. Uh, and uh, yeah, so Jackie, you do this elbow jab into uh, right into the back of his neck which definitely like pushes his windpipe into the floor. You hear, you know, the, the gurgle uh, of <laughs> as it hits behind. And then behind you, you hear another tremendous crash as you look over your shoulder to see Ed plummet through the ceiling at the <laughs> other end of the hallway. Ed. I'm glad you could join us. Uh, Ed, what's Don't your worry, next Jackie, move? I'm coming. And do you take, standing over this dude. <laughs> do you take Ollie with you, or Ollie, are you Ollie's are you sliding out of the vent separately? I, th I Ollie's absolutely like just I think um, was probably in the lead at this point after we lost uh, stuff. Or, or I guess no. I guess Ed, 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 were you in the lead or were I in the? Was I? I think I was navigating. We established that Ed oh, yeah. was in the lead because he was navigating because he had. So yeah. So I think dot, Ollie's dot, dot, just like has a on his phone. has. The, there's a very cartoon moment as Ollie's like no 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 <laughs> as the Ed, as the ceiling and the vent starts to collapse and um we we just yeah. see Ollie just get splooted out of the. Uh, out of the vent. Yeah, so well. we, we see that from Mason, Ollie lands we on top that of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we see that from your perspective, Ollie. Uh, and then we're back to Jackie's perspective where we see Ed crash through the ceiling. Uh, and then very shortly, just like a beat later, followed by Ollie just tumbling out, slam, bloof, onto Ed. 
uh, and the the two of you are a pile on the floor uh, at the other end of the hallway, surrounded by little bits of metal and shattered plastic and, blood. you know, pieces <laughs> of light fixture, blood, uh, you know, all the good stuff that's in ceilings. Yeah. I love that for us. So <laughs> far, everything is going exactly according to plan. If it does. Ed, you say, on your back from underneath Ollie. <laughs> uh, all right, so Ollie, Ed, what are you doing? Uh, I mean, I'm going to get up and, um, you know, I guess run over to uh, Jackie and dot, dot, dot. Okay, great. Ollie? Um, yeah, same deal, actually. Okay, cool. So the two of you kind of untangle yourselves and and get up and you're like you're like wiping the rubble off of yourselves as you as you I think at this point limp uh yes, quickly yes. down the down the hallway trying to regain your your footing. Dot dot dot. Uh in the midst of all this, uh you are <laughs> you are beside Jackie on top of Carrot. Uh, it looks like Carrot is uh, is about to. Um, uh, he still has that gun in his hand uh, and is uh, about to. After having his throat slammed into the ground so that he uh, cannot speak or cry out effectively, at least briefly, uh, is going to try to uh, whip Jackie around and bring that gun to bear. Are you doing anything? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, what are we looking at? Oh, um. Can I study? Can I use my ability keen eye? Uh-huh. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay. When I successfully study something, you are able to notice otherwise impossible to detect details. Cool. Cool. Okay. okay. So, yeah, as all this chaos is unfolding in front of your face, dot, 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 uh you we we have you know in the in the midst of your i think we probably see like very close your panicked eye just sort of whipping back and forth uh and and you are in this moment of adrenaline picking up the details uh give me a roll to study the situation i think this is a desperate action though damn it okay, so you're down do one yeah. Is there any way? Oh, you got it. I got a five. Okay. Uh, I mean, Ed, do you have a, a help that you want to attempt here? Um, I mean, if I think if you got if I if you got it, I mean, uh, I was just gonna also like use my, uh, I don't know, study reading to. Like, uh, you know, see if I can, you know, sort of like a fateful warning kind of thing, you know, like to help, you know, call out anything that could help. Adam. Yeah, I mean, I think what you would have to do is you would have to like, there would have to be something that you shout out to dot dot dot, and then you would pay stress to uh, to aid. That would be yeah, I think the the resolve for that. I, I think he'd just be like like get the gun like get the gun get the gun like <laughs> <laughs> okay uh cool so yeah if you if you pay one stress ed dot 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 you can roll another if you yay like. we'll see if it's bigger and you know maybe you'll get a better result it was not better than a five <laughs> okay but I appreciate uh, you. So yeah, you you hear you hear Ed shout, but uh, um, it it definitely focuses you on on the right thing. But there's still going to be a, an overall drawback, right, for the five. What are you looking for? Dot dot dot. Ooh. What impossible am... detail are you trying to spot here? And you can just what? give me a category of something and then I can fill it in. Or if there's something very specific that you would like to introduce, 
you can do that as well. I would like to um, find a way to um, restrain his arm or otherwise stop the forward motion of him whipping the gun. Okay. Here is... Here's what I will give you. Um, I think... Um, I think the deal is going to be uh, you... Uh, you know, time slows down for you. Uh, you hear Ed shouting, the gun, the gun. Uh, and you hone in. Your eye locks on that firearm and you can um, you can see that like in slow motion uh, that Carrot is beginning to flex his finger and pull the trigger back and what you spot is that it's sticking very slightly you have in your hand something that you think could get it to stick substantially more and however the drawback of this that he knows he will know yeah there's no there there's going to be no avoiding the the carrot will know you dot 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 attacked him and you know that's the end of it for for you two no. So you now have, you now have the choice. I just, I don't want to kill him. You don't have to kill I him. Wanna, I don't have to kill him. But damn, this got harder. Yeah. Oh. You know what? No. All right. So we see. This is my this is my big debut. All right. Dot dot dot. In in like the like point three seconds it took to register all of that, gets real real cocky all of a sudden, and uh, sprays uh, uh, carrot's arm once on his on his on his like fingers and hands around the the trigger. Yeah, yeah. A so... second time on his forearm, and then a third time on his like bicep. Three dots. And uh, as, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think I should make you roll again for this because I, I think the success should should carry forward. Um, so as, uh, yeah, so you, you do that, uh, you know, tss, 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 uh, the, the spray can fires off three times uh, and we see, um, we see as Carrot brings, brings the gun to bear, uh, there is uh, now like his, his hand covered in spray paint, the trigger covered in, in spray paint. Uh, and there is that second as he is, as he is pointing it at Jackie, where he looks back at you, dot, dot, dot. And I think his sunglasses slip down and <laughs> he makes direct, shocked, betrayed eye contact with you as he pull, as he attempts to pull that trigger back, but it's taking just a little more force than he expected. And Jackie, you have a split second of an opening. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to, as he's bringing the gun around, I'm going to like clap like my hands like against his and twist to break the wrist. Yeah. Uh, and bring that elbow up again, clock him in the jaw and try to twist my body to slam him into the wall. Uh, and I do think while she does do that for my free action, uh, she will look directly at you dot dot dot. She saw what you did. Uh, and is just gonna give you kind of a half smile. You can see that there's a little bit more trust in her eyes than there was previously. And she just goes, 
Welcome to the team. Now cool. All right. So you are, um, you are either, uh, eh, now you're attacking. Yeah, I, I don't see any way uh, you're not yes. attacking. That's an attack. <laughs> this guy. So yeah, you're attacking Carrot. You're starting with your attack rating. He has a level on you, down one. I think we're still in desperate situation territory oh because like, if yeah, this yeah, goes yeah. wrong, you are getting shot. Like, and <laughs> and this is this is a split second action. Tell me so a day I haven't gotten you're, shot. You're Don't down I to. Have. It's up there with the ribs breaking. Show me a session where I haven't been shot at. Oh, yeah. it's Schmollitz. There's at least two. I've got a couple that are probably still in me somewhere. That is not. Hey, don't I think worry about it. I think we actually established in the canon of the game that that is true. I think that we've is said so. that Absolute. more than I am once. Riddled with scars. Yeah, but uh, scars are not the same thing as having, you know. Well, if you're not careful lead. in this space, you're going to don't be riddled with so much more. <laughs> Shut the hell uh, up. Uh, okay, I push myself, oh, damn it. If I push yeah, myself again, push I will not have any ability to push myself later, and I would like to save it because we okay. are not out of the woods yet. Not um, even close. I, I, I gotta ask the devil's bargain for bunsies. I, I'm going to roll forward with the, the previous one you because are, okay. you're taking the same action. All right. So we're yeah, gonna Devil's take, Bargain we're gonna stands take that one, at one dice. It's uh, other people show up. I'm going to gamble on one dice. Okay. Oh boy. Now, I will ask Ed, Ollie, do you do anything to assist in this moment? Um, because the yes. two of you have reached Jackie as this is happening. How much of the clock has felled? Carrot has two segments left in his danger clock. He's going to walk over and kick him in the head. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's easy. Uh, pay one stress, and Jackie gets another die. I think it's more of a, it's not like a killing kick. I think the idea is more of a, um, just, uh, just a nasty clip. Yeah. It, you you can tell that Jackie isn't going for any lethal moves. She's just trying to shut it down. Shut it down. Shut, shut it, it down. down. That'll be two fives. Two fives. Okay. Second time I've done that. Um. All right. So uh. Here's here's what happens. Um. All right. So you uh. You. As you say. You uh, grab the you grab the gun. You twist the the wrist back. As you do that, Ollie comes in from the other side and uh, and wallop kicks Carrot in the head. Uh, you know you see his his head snap to the side. The gun goes off. That he he has now overcome the the sticky resistance of the spray paint. The gun goes off and it's right near your head, Jackie. So uh, you are going to take one minor harm from just the sort of like shock uh, and and force uh, of this going off right near you. This is you know probably slightly more psychological than physical harm. Um, but one minor harm for that. Um, and you've only filled one more segment, meaning Carrot has one left. So he, uh, so, you know, he, he cries out sort of like gurgling and wordlessly cause he can't, he still can't really speak from the, ugh, the throat situation. Right. Uh, but he he can't hold the the gun anymore his his wrist is is broken it clatters to the ground uh and he is he is however he did manage to get around and now he's kind of like he was sort of under you right pointing the gun up as he rolled around from the the way that he was on his back um and he is now uh just trying to pretty desperately uppercut you under like right under the chin with these bedazzled these just mm -hmm. iced mm -hmm. up brass knuckles the game, uh, game recognized there is, game there is a nasty nasty hit coming your way oh boy what 
a question for the entire group, do you do? Not get hit? <laughs> How's that? I'd like to yeah. get out of that. Get That's out of option. that. How do you do I can't that? Roll to resist somebody else's consequences, can I? Um you cannot unless you have a move that allows you to do that. Um I'm not resisting you know, right now. Am I there, resisting? Not unless you want to. Uh, yeah, you can you can resist the consequences of the previous action. We're a little far ahead into oh, yeah, it, no, but I would I, still let I you meant, do it. I meant the this punch coming at me. This isn't a resistance no. roll. This is an action. No, this roll. is this is not. This okay, is not. yeah. Then I'm I'm just gonna try to dodge out of the way. I'm gonna tuck and roll, baby. Okay, cool. So you you're trying to maneuver out of the way here, then. So yeah, uh, we're looking at a maneuver roll down to again level mm -hmm. desperate. Yeah, it's gonna be that's gonna be an easy negative, baby. Okay. I will. Uh, I will. And again, dot dot negative. dot. Ollie, Ed, you are all there and able to assist with this, if you would like. Uh. I will, I will, I will assist again. Okay, think... cool. Do you, okay, Maddie, that. did you have something? Oh, no, no, no. Um, Ed, uh, I have uh, burned through quite a bit of my stress. So I think Ed's Maybe. like- Yeah, really I think you all have. Yeah, mm -hmm. really starting to feel like, like that wound that it's kind of bleeding a lot and he's like just trying to keep up like, Kind of breathing a little bit heavily. Yeah, so yeah. We we definitely see like Ed as as you you know as you have sort of approached this scene. We you definitely have like the the hands on the thighs like watching this, uh, you know potentially potential horror show unfold in front of you. Ollie, what do you do to help Jackie here? Um, I think Ollie is going um to try to. Grow grab and wrestle one of uh Everett's um uh arms just yeah like cool so you, you can, to yeah you them. can you can just try to like restrain his arm as he as he reaches up to to do this uppercut uh oh, cool so pay one stress jackie you have another d6 one no two two Yikes! I'm gonna have to come back for me somehow. All right. Uh, so yeah, with a two, uh, you get slammed. The the brass and and diamonds of these of these knuckles just slam into your jaw, Jackie, and you are sent reeling. Um, can I resist this? Yes, you can. You are looking at one moderate harm. Yeah, no, no, thank you. Okay, um, yeah, roll to resist. Oh, actually, uh, hang on a minute. Wait, I got that minor harm again. And if I get another mo <laughs> minor harm, then I have that one, that negative. Oh, oh God, the calculus of this. Uh, yeah, I, I love playing this game because here's the thing. I do too. Again, if you take, if you, if you take the moderate harm and you roll with it to avoid the bonus, then it's that much harder to clear later on. It's true, but then I don't have, I'm not down a dice throughout the rest of this heist. Yeah, so right, that's that's the trade-off. That's the trade-off. I'm gonna take it because of the skill set that I have in downtime specifically. I'm gonna, I'm going to just take it. Okay. And not yeah. have, and not have the negative consequences come back at me later. So- Is that too meta-y? No, I don't think so. Uh, That's just listen, a, uh, yeah. we're also like decision. on a job, you know. You're like, yeah. you you have to be weighing these things too. I know what I can handle. Yeah, yeah. Like this, yeah, this is perfectly. This is, I know the game is, is kind where of the structured game, that way. Yeah, this yeah. is where the the game meta should almost always align with your character decisions. And uh, in this case, like she would. Jackie's a Jackie's a, a bit of a bruiser. Like she yeah, takes she say... takes it on the chin. As good as she is as like a fighter, passably so, I would argue, against some of the other people that are in this city, her real skill set is being a human punching bag. 
It does seem to be that way, yes. She will take hits because she'd rather you guys not take it. So We love a damage sponge. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna take it. I'm and also that, pretty good at taking hits for the record. So let yeah. you're not getting punched right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, and that that is amply demonstrated, Jackie, as you take just a, an absolute, just, these. just just a, a nasty ass uppercut right on the chin. You go reeling back. You slide across the polished concrete of uh, of the hallway. Um, Ollie, you have you after you were like a second too late as you grabbed onto Carrot's arm, um, and you grab on like after the punch sort of finishes the follow through, uh, and you are kind of you're kind of like grabbing onto his uh, his bicep, um, and he is going to actually attempt to like. You know, seeing that you are restra- like restraining him, right? Continue to follow through and try to sort of like fling you away from uh, from your your grappled position. Is this position something I need here. to resist? What do you do or in response? Gonna... Uh, I think Ollie's going to try to break his arm. Yeah. So that sounds like you are attacking this guy. Uh, let's get a, a roll to up. attack. You are in a slightly more controlled situation here, Ollie. So you're only going to be down one for the level disparity from your starting attack. Yeah, like rating. Ollie's in a very good good position to do a catastrophic amount of damage, I think. That, but non lethal yeah. damage. Yeah, this this could this could very well do it. So yeah, do there's you add other any? people in the building. I'm saving the lethal damage for. Um, I'm down one from level disparity. Yes. I'll let this. I'll let this roll. I'm gonna All right. My I can help. Can I help in this situation? You're out. Like somebody I'm else out. could attempt to help. Can I help? But okay. You are. Yeah. What do you do? Okay. I want to. Uh, his like glasses are still like kind of askew, right? Yes, they are. I want to spray his eyes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you maniac. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> We're playing cool. dirty. So yeah, uh, I think you know he's he's. Ali, you are you are restraining the sort of upper arm, and you're about to pull back into the break. Uh, so you are almost restraining him ha- as he uh, he's he's risen back up, right, with this punch, uh, at least to his to to kind of his his knees to a crouch, uh, and then uh, as as he looks up and to the side, dot dot dot. You just come in from the other side and just just. Just spray paint the shit out of his face. What color spray uh, paint is it? That's a great question. I was imagining silver, and I realize that's because I'm just imagining the silver spray paint from Mad Max. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Dot dot dot. What color actually is the spray paint? Ooh, it's just straight black. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just straight black right into the eyes. So dot 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 pay that one stress. Ollie, you've got the extra die. Well that Roll was worth it. That is a, a six, a five, and a two. Okay, Hell six yeah. will do it. So Ollie, uh tell me how you break Carrot's arm and knock him out. I think this is in like a way that's like going to be not like life damaging because I have I can do it. I think uh Ollie just um, puts a knee on his bicep, and then they just like um, palm strike to the. Oh, I always forget. I think it's the ulna that's smaller, or is it the radius that's smaller? That's but, like a great basically question, breaks and the I breaks do not the remember bones anatomy well enough. Using yeah. lateral shear force. That's right. That's my I know about that because force. trees. <laughs> um. Sh- physics is weird, y'all. Stuff that applies to everything applies to everything, and, and it's an uncomfortable truth once you realize that. Um, yeah. And just, yeah, just very, just very efficiently breaks the forearm. Yeah, and, so you, still- you know, uh, uh, and anybody can X card this. We hear the snap, and uh, he, uh, he goes down to the ground. Uh, I think hits his head onto the the concrete 
and uh, as his uh, uh, as his his paint stained eyes roll into the back of his head uh, you dot 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 get that just moment of of eye contact again that final moment of eye contact with him as he as he passes out um, and you have done something from which there is no going back my friend yes. Jackie on the uh, a little just a little ways down the corridor uh, you uh, slide to a halt uh, and uh, and recover uh, and you are able to drag yourself back to your feet. That's the Y'all... second split lip I've gotten. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and y'all are standing over yet another unconscious body uh, on the floor of Riddler's base. <laughs> oh, us. High fives and some wheezing. Jackie comes over, spits blood. Not bad. Thanks. How do you feel? Feel fucking great. Fuck yeah. Does Jackie believe you? You believe, Adam. I don't think you think it's a good thing. <laughs> Is everyone okay? Uh, Holly and Ed, not. you look terrible. Do we need to get more bandages? Are you all... Uh, I she's mean... like almost about to... You, you see her like look down as if she's about to start ripping her shirt oh, into no, makeshift but... stuff? Um, it's not great. It's definitely not great, but I think we just gotta keep going. Yeah, okay. y'all were... She game mechanics point um y'all got a handful of medical supplies uh and the rules of the game do allow you to make an operate role to essentially perform field medicine uh on a comrade uh in order to I... heal some harm so that's an option that you have um i can bandage alia or attempt to Ollie's pretty good. Ollie's like Ollie got grazed, but not uh because Did Ollie is Uh-huh. Oh I know. Ollie uh, has the tenacious ability. Right. Um so Ollie's looking cool cool as a cucumber that's been lightly pickled. Okay. Well <laughs> that's good. Um if anybody could bandage me up, uh Jackie, I can I can I can take a look at you. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Uh, it is what it is, but uh, we, we got. I, I can. I, I'm not good at operate, but I can try to help out. Yeah, right. So, yeah, Jackie, you either you either take out the 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 bandages that you got from before, or you can you know you rip that you can take that strip out of the shirt, whatever you want. We specifically. Yeah. Uh, I hate to do this. I specifically got ace bandages, which I'm not sure are great you for what did. happened to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good point. Uh, in which case, I'm gonna rip the bottom of my shirt. I don't care. It's a shirt. Um, I'm just great. gonna like tear a little like swath uh, of it like straight around, uh, like just the bottom, and yeah. we're gonna and use we, that as a so we we got tourniquet. fan artists take note. We have just a little more Jackie midriff exposed under <laughs> the jacket. Well, not anymore. Yeah. It's covered with ace bandages. Yeah, that's true. I think that. I think that might make it better. It definitely makes it better. Definitely makes it. Yeah. Better. Make it better. Okay. Yeah. All right. You do your thing. It's, Wrap, it's, wrapped up with it's, ace it's bandages gore, under a lingerie. under a a, a, <laughs> a somewhat cropped top. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. So. All right. Give me a give me a roll to operate. <laughs> um, I think. Um, I don't have any points in that. If anyone wants to help. Yeah, I, 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 I don't think any news, but... additions or subtractions I can, apply. I can try to help you. Um, you know, like guiding you because. Um, it's not too bad at operate. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I, I mean, like Ed, the idea. And if you want, that... if you pay one stress, you can help for that because you know yeah, you're the I... one getting treated, so you know what yeah. hurts. 
I'm just a huge okay. fan of the idea that Jackie is no stranger to patching people up in the middle of like a firefight, but usually somebody has to walk her through steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or she will fuck it up. Okay. So you're up. Not a doctor. So Ed, you pay one stress. Jackie, you're up to one, it sounds like. Okay. It's a five. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Be my lucky so. Yeah, uh, with a with a five, um, I'm going to say uh, you can take one box of harm down one level. So would it be better to get rid of one minor harm completely or take one moderate harm and move it down to minor so that the box is full? You'll have a negative die for every move when you have yeah. a full minor. Oh, so then it'd be better to just get rid of the minor harm. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Yeah, and narratively that makes sense because, you know, in the field you can probably patch up, like you're patching up the sort of surface wounds, mm -hmm. right? But you're not. Yeah. You're not getting to the real stuff. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Do you want to turn Is it around? Feel better? Yeah. Can I can can I be taking a look at Jackie? Yeah, yeah. I I feel I feel like we we just have a scene of both of you crouched in the hallway, just like simultaneously, kind of like bandaging each other, right? I definitely it's think it's mostly since I got the moderate harm and the minor harm to the face. I'm just I've been saying, is everyone okay? While well, like I am just got like a yeah. lovely makeup full of blood that's like. Ha like from my ears bleeding from my eardrum probably well, would you got, say uh, approximately half your face is kind of messed up jackie i hate you so much i hate yeah. you so much yeah i yeah. actually would say that Incredible. half that's my face image. is absolutely fucked up that's the image that i'm conjuring in my head is it mm -hmm. i'm so happy for you um, yeah hey. i actually oh 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 i'm sorry i'm sorry don't do this to me. Uh, I got the split lip twice bashed in. Uh, I've got a little bit of a curled up snarl going on on one side of my face. Thanks to that. Nice. How's that? Um, it's good. I'm, it's very good. Um, I got a six and a five, so okay. I feel cool. like as you're like bandaging me up, I'm just kind of like tenderly like putting some salve <laughs> on your wounds and it's like this weird father-daughter moment. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, Jackie, you really, you, I know you think you gotta take the punches, but you just, oh. Eh. Don't Easy. Eh, don't fine. eh. Don't eh me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Okay. You're the one that got wait, shot. Wait, okay, just wait. Just, there's just one. Okay. All right. Thanks. And Jackie, you can also move one box of harm down one level. I uh, I too am going to get rid of the minor harm. All right. Andre. I use an ability I have. Yeah. Please do. I have a fun little ability called Caught in the Web, which is mark one stress to have previously set a trap for an opponent. You may then roll in the present to see if they fall into it. Cool. Can I do that now? Uh, you can do it anytime you want. That seems to be what the move is. To set up a trap with Carrot. Cool. Uh, what I want to do. I want to take Carrot's body in the um in the room that J in the in the closet that JJ was in. Yep. Oh yeah. I will and then I want to quickly spray paint a crossword. Um cool. It, it and then it says something cool. <laughs> <laughs> um are you gonna chain him back up to the chair yes okay are you like do are you like redoing the setup are you like chaining him back yeah. to the chair putting the bag over the head the whole deal whole shebang okay and are you are you connecting the chain again to the the lock the lock box with the puzzle yes okay rad so yeah 
Um, yeah, so you, uh, you, you do that. Uh, and we, we see you, you know, pull the, pull the bag back over the head, click the chains back into the box. Uh, and we, uh, see, uh, you know, we see you, uh, spray painting, uh, probably mostly on the, the bag. That's probably the biggest, like, open, obvious surface. Um, yeah, and then we, we see you step back to admire your work. What have you spray painted? think about this oh no okay i think i mean i got i got one but uh, i want to hear what you, it's what less you of think a, it's less of a riddle and more of a taunt i'm open okay uh my proposal is we see you step back uh and written on the bag is tick talk the same message that the riddler sent to you uh to light a fire under your ass and then beneath it dot 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 yeah which i think is a good place to cut and then the last shot is um is from the perspective of the like the camera is inside the locker as dot 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 slams it shut and then credits. Yep. Yeah. Blackout. Blackout. Thanks for joining us on Manipod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can watch past games on youtube.com slash Manipod Studios. Let's get our players sign offs and shout outs. My name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter and Instagram, uh, and at my uh, website, AndreVera.art, which has my professional illustration portfolio, as well as all the actual plays that I'm in, including The Atomus, Tragedy of the Illusion, Unicorn Hunt, Redline, Power Rangers, and Streets of Gotham. Um, uh, also, want to shout out my uh itch uh itch.io slash andre vera art we can get some games um i have some uh games that i've just made by myself uh as well as many collaborations with uh my my dear dear wonderful uh super dylan uh including uh at, at the time of recording our newest uh collaborative game american world fight club which is very fun you should check it out I have been Hopper. Regrettably, I will continue to be Hopper. Um, if you are uh, a masochist and uh, interested in seeking out more of me, uh, you can find me here on this network uh, very often on Flights of Fandom uh, every Tuesday and uh, on The Hole in the World, our award-winning uh, act uh, Invisible Sun actual play. Um, in addition to that, uh, I can be found on the interwebs under the legend tree, including on Twitch, where it's done with underscores, so you can come watch the deranged shit that I do put out there. But it's good deranged shit. I have been Marcy. If I shall continue to be here in future, only time will tell. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I feel pretty confident you can still find me here on Manipod Studios pretty much uh, every Tuesday, as Hopper said, doing flights of fandom. Um, we've got a whole bunch of those episodes coming up for you, so you're going to want to keep your eyes right here on this channel each week. Uh, and uh, yes, I too am in the hole in the world, which is every Sunday. Uh, as I've said before, I'm a writer and an editor. You can find me almost anywhere online under the username Experimental Madness. And if you can't find me there, well, you can find me under my secondary, lesser known name, uh, Marsifal. Maddie here. Uh, you can find me on social media um, as Cellar Tater and on my website, maddiecourtney.com. 
Uh, I'd love to plug my friends down at the Laughing Dragon Inn. They're another really great group of TTRPG streamers. So definitely go check their stuff out. Um, I believe they have Twitch, YouTube, and also a cool website uh, with all their characters and campaigns and stuff. And I've been David. You can find me on social media at DBrunel Brutman and on Manipot's Flights of Fandom. You can also find tabletop RPGs I've designed at dbb-8.itch.io, including In the Dark, the Blades in the Dark hack that we play right here on Streets of Gotham. And with that, we'll see you next time.